everyone and welcome to the mini toy love channel and today I'm really excited to be unboxing the Pokemon TCG small but mighty premium collection oh my goodness look how cute it's the babies <laughs> they're just adorable it's the tag team baby set um, it comes with a keychain a pin a coin the special um, alternative art card which is gorgeous and you get 10 booster packs spanning sword and shield sun and moon and there's even one X and Y pack what it's a crazy set and it is so cute I found this um, online at Target and I'm just so excited to see what we get I love it that card is gorgeous so lots of stuff but let's go ahead and get started and here's a quick look at the back I love the artwork Clef is so sweet it says round pastel and ready to take on anyone that's right these three adorable tiny Pokemon have joined forces as a tag team Pokemon GX and are ignoring nap time so cute <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. This has the like the plastic seal on the front. Oh, aren't you precious? <laughs> That's a cute pink box. Here is the super cute baby's card. Oh my goodness. They have their little fruit surrounding them and Pokeballs and such a gorgeous card. I, I know I keep saying that, but it is beautiful in person. So colorful. Every space is filled up. Um, beautiful. It's not a Black Star promo. It has this A designation. I know in one of the Japanese sets, this was a rare alternative art um, that you could find in this version. They had the angry babies, the happy babies, and then this alternative art version. So I'm curious um, what exactly it is in English. You guys can let me know. It just says special art um, on the box. Oh, and I put in my Grookey sleeve because it needs to be protected at all costs. <laughs> you also get the cute little happy babies keychain. It's one of the plastic kind of rubber tags, but still a very, very cute. And then you get the pin. You know I love my Pokemon pins. Oh my goodness. So cute. It has the Pokeballs in back. It is smaller um, compared to some of the other pins, but so cute. Small but mighty. And then you get the cute little coin, which is pink. Look at Cleffa. It has the tongue sticking out. Okay, that's an adorable coin. I collect these too. I don't play with them or anything. They just look cute. One day, I wish they made like a coin book, like you could display them like press pennies or something. That would be awesome. And then we have this thick stack of packs and they're all from different series. So we have Sword and Shield, Darkness Ablaze, Rebel Clash. Then it goes back to Burning Shadows. What? That is a rare set nowadays. You can find a Charizard in that one. So we have one Burning Shadows, another Burning Shadows, a Sun and Moon base set. Another Darkness Ablaze, oh, Sword and Shield base set, Crimson Invasion, um, Sun and Moon base set again, and then an XY Steam Siege. That is a really cool, interesting variety of cards, a little bit of everything. I'm going to kick it off with the Sun and Moon base set pack with Solgaleo on the front. If you guys have been watching my channel, you'll know that it is this series that actually started um, my Pokemon collection. So I came in at Sun and Moon. So this will always have a little special place in my heart. Okay, so we have Marini. It's going to be fun to visit the older artworks again. Stuffle, adorable. Toga Demaru, Alolan Grimer, Romantis, Darkness Energy, Charge Bug, whoopsies, Poison Barb, Team Skull Grunt. I know you can get that in a, in a full art. Um, Potion is our Reverse Hollow, and then a Gold Duck. Then let's go to Darkness Ablaze. This is an awesome set as well. We have the chance of finding a Charizard VMAX, which we won't necessarily in this pack, but that's okay. Cool set, nice art artwork. So we have Gothita, Skarmory, Cubju, Little Wimpod, Bunnelby, I love the Mad Tea Party set, so cool. Fire Energy, the old PC, that looks awesome. I like that card a lot too. Ursa Ring, um, Heat, Fire Energy, Meltan, he's kind of cute. Um, is our reverse hollow. You see the different hollow design. I don't think I'm a, a fan of the reverse hollow design um, in uh, Sword and Shield versus Sun and Moon. It just looked a lot crisper, I think, here and a lot easier to read. But still, I like what they were trying to do. I just don't think the foil turned out very well. And then we have Clink Clink. Okay, and then we'll open Burning Shadows since we have two of those as well. Uh oh is on the cover of this open mini burning shadows um but very again very cool set and 
we have Krogunk. I never knew what he was in front of. It looks cool. He looks confused. Magikarp. <laughs> Meowth. Just strolling like the Italian countryside. I don't know. That That is so cute. Wimpod. I love all the Meowth cards. I actually really love Galarian Meowth um, a lot more than uh, Alola Meowth. Togedemaru, Fighting Energy, Whirlipede, Wobbuffet. Doing what Wobbuffet does. Electrike. Um, Kiawe. I like him as a trainer. Oh, I like the Alolan series. Um, and the Butterfree. Always cute. Okay, so now we're down to one pack from each of these series. Let's go way back to XY Steam Siege. There's only a break of on the front there. And I believe then these are 3 2 back to XY. It's, it's been a while. Um, we have Nose Pass, Chimchar, Breaking Stuff, <laughs> Meowth. Uh, He's seen some stuff right there. That is so funny. Again, all the Meowth cards crack me up now that I've collected more and paid attention. And I've that character's really grown on me. He's also in my Pokemon Cafe mix game. And he's really cute. <laughs> Hoppip. Litwick. Um, Gardevoir. Spirit Link. Nuzleaf. Claw. Fossil. Anorith. Mantine is our reverse hollow. Again, very nice reverse hollow in XY. And then the last card. Oh, cool. It is a Xerneas hollow rare. Little bit hard to see the hollow design, but the, the black background has the hollow foil. Really cool card. Xerneas is a really cool character. No more fairy type, though. Next up, let's go on to Crimson Invasion from Sun and Moon. I think this was everyone's like least favorite set from Sun and Moon. Oh, well, you can get a lot of green code cards. Here you go. Someone can have a Crimson Invasion code if you want it. Oh my goodness. Poor Crimson Invasion. I think that was right before the tag team came out too, which was a good save. So we have Little Jigma, which I really like that character. Shelmet, Salandit, Starly. Kiddo, Psychic Energy, Devoured Field, Alolan Graveler, Cinchino, looking all cute and cuddly, um, Gastrodon, and then Octillery. Next up, let's go Sword and Shield base set with that awesome um, Snorlax VMAX card, which looks really cool. Okay, so let's try not to look at what color code card. We've had a lot of green ones. Okay, so we have a little Muna, a little Hacky Sack, Roselia, Chudel, Flipbug, um, Rhyhorn, Fighting Energy, Metal Saucer, um, Road on Bike, which is cool, cool, Big Charm, Doug Trio is our reverse hollow. It's a cute one. Look at the moles. They're like, what? <laughs> I like that. I don't know what's going on there. And then Drapion is the rare. Okay, we're gonna follow the final order and do Rebel Clash, and then we'll work our way down. I'm gonna save bringing shadows for last. Oh, another, another green code card. <laughs> but still, I mean, these collection boxes, you do, you know, take a risk with the variety of packs, especially over the course of, you know, 10 packs from a variety of series. They're skunky. Grubbin, Wingle, Natu, Barboach, Psychic Energy, Palpitoad, Morgrum, Full Heal, um, Colossal is our Reverse Hollow. I weirdly like Colossal, a cold Pokemon, and then Galarian Darmanitan. That's kind of a cool looking card. Cinnamon Base Set with the awesome Decidueye. Here we go, we have Alolan Rattata. Snubble, oh my goodness, you know I love Snubble, so cute. Snubble also works my Pokemon Cafe mix game. <laughs> Makuhita, cutie fly, drowsy, who likes long walks on the beach. Um, water energy, Ultra Ball, Pelipper, Timer Ball. Uh, Poliwhirl is our reverse hollow. Again, very nice reverse design in Sun and Moon. That might be my favorite. Again, I've only seen it from XY, Sun and Moon, and then of course, Sword and Shield. And then we have a Stoutland, who also works my cafe. <laughs> Again, quite a big pile of, of bulk there. Let's go with the Darkness Ablaze. I'll try not to show the color code card. 
And let's hope for, for something. Again, I'm very happy with the card that's included. Okay, so we have Pan Sage, Electric, Fletchling, Galarian Mr. Mime, Torchic, uh, Psychic Energy, Fluffy, looking cute, very cool artwork. It looks, um, I don't know if it's the same artist as the Bunnel BT Party. It looks similar. I like it. I'll have to look that up. Carnivine, also a Pokemon that I like for some reason. Cape of Toughness. Cufant is our reverse hollow. And then we do have a rare in Hoopa. So hollow rare, which that's actually a really, really cool looking card. I do like the hollow rare design um, on sword and shield with the vertical lines. Very cool. And then our very last pack for the video is a sun and moon burning shadows. Let's see what we get. Anything, <laughs> anything would be good. Okay. So four and two. Last pack. We have a cutie fly, which is very cute. Panpour, Pikachu, it's cool artwork. Krogunk, Pan Sage, Wobbuffet, Electric, Guzma. Oh, he's a good card. That'd be awesome to get a full art. Crab Roller, and we did have a white code card, so let's see. It is a hollow with Rhyperior. Still cool. And I think this guy's new to my collection too. Okay, so in terms of the pull rate, not much going on with this box. We have a reverse hollow rare. We have three hollow rares. The Hoopa one's probably my fave. Although one from XY is really cool. And then of course you get this card, which for me, it's all worth it. Um, so, you know, you gotta temper your expectations with these collection boxes. But if you're really after the card inside, I'm happy, it was fun to open, lots of cool packs trip down memory lane. So I would recommend it if you really like the characters and all the little goodies you get. Um, but again, the pull rate, at least for me, was, was not too good. <laughs> but this makes up for it, in my opinion. So uh, that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. You can also check out my Pokemon playlist for more videos such as this one. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.